I want to give double honors to the apostles of G. Messu and teach by Salawan by requiring to the hopeful elect. All right. Um, <clears throat> you see the you see the news article from Zero Hedge. It says violent food and fuel shortages, riots grip Venezuela amid COVID nineteen lockdown. All right. I just want to start off by saying, uh, hey, don't think this is not going to come to America because it, it is, okay? All right? Because it is, all right? There's uh, plenty of people out here that don't have jobs and have families, okay? And I've seen an article in uh, Blacklisted News, all right? Let me, let me just briefly read what this says right here. Fewer than half of uh, working Americans will have a paycheck in May. All right, so a lot of people are not going to be getting paid here shortly in the month of May, man, okay? All right. <clears throat> um, but let, let me get some scriptures and then jump into this article, all right? Because the Lord, he's coming, man, and this is what we need to get up out of here. All right, this is 2nd Ezra chapter uh, 15, verse 5. Behold, save Yahweh by Shemel Shai. I will, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, all right? And this is what Yahweh Shemal Shai has done. He's brought what he said he's going to bring upon the world, man. Death, famine, plagues, and, and destruction, right? <clears throat> All right, let me read a little bit of this article. All right, despite a six-week mandated nationwide coronavirus lockdown, a bro bro broad protest have once again gripped parts of Venezuela amid crippling food shortages. All right. It's not people protesting here in America to reopen their country. Are right, you eat a mics? Okay. Citizens are being asked to stay at home. Same thing that's happening here in America. All right. You can't get enough food to survive. All right. Look, these, these food factories are shutting down. All right. Uh, Tyson, uh, Smithfield. Okay. The farmers aren't able to, uh, uh, plant their farm, their farm food and, uh, dis distribute out what's needed because of this lockdown. Okay. All right. And other government, um, governmental, uh, laws that they have passed. All right. I don't know all of them off the top of my head, but it's, it's around, it's buzzing around. All right. Just go read. All right. Now reporting by Bloomberg count counts at least 500 protests across 15 states so far states so far this month which has included multiple killed and scores wounded and arrested and often violent clashes with police as protests begin to turn to looting. All right. Let me get a scripture on that because, Hey, that's, that's what the Lord said was going to happen. All right. Uh, and it's happening, man. Okay. All right. This is second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and, and them that dwell therein. Woe means death and destruction, man. All right. For the sword and their destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, evading one another, that they shall not regard their their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So these people out here, they're not giving a fuck about what these what the law says, okay? And don't don't think that this is not gonna happen here in America. Again, I wanna I wanna repeat that, man. Okay. Don't think that this is not going to happen here in America, man, because it is, okay? You think the government don't care about you jakes down here in Venezuela, okay? And America got their hands in Venezuela, all right? We're going to read. It's going to happen here in America, all right? Riots have also also reportedly erupted in some instances over police attempting to enforce quarantine rules, such as wearing a mask being enforced in all public spaces, going back to... The same shit that they they pushing worldwide, man. They're going back into uh, <clears throat> this scripture right here, man. Okay. Uh, for there should be sedition among men, all right, and not regard regarding their kings nor princes. Okay, all right. A man shall desire to go into the city; he should not be able to. You can't go into the city, all right, in Venezuela, all right, and it's it's harder and harder as the time go by here in America to get out, you know, in some states, okay? However, here we go, in part thanks to U.S.-led sanctions, okay? 
the U.S. got their hands in everything, man. That's why they called the the great whore, man, that polluted the land, okay? The whole land, the whole earth, okay? All right? What little personal protective gear was available flew off the shelves last month. With few options available for for most citizens other than sewing their own masks. All right, but all this is famine, man. Okay, all this is famine. While most families in North America have Amazon and Walmart deliverers and Walmart delivers deliveries of food and vital items coming to the door amid all also amid all the abundance of cheap gas, Venezuelans are forced to venture out of self isolation, seeking out needed resources to survive. Stocking up and hunkering down isn't an option for many people who are who are too poor to buy enough food in advance. Hey, look at this. It says fewer than half of working Americans will have a paycheck in May. So guess what these poor people out here in America is going to be doing here shortly, man, running up in your crib. Okay. To take what you have fighting in the streets to get food. Okay. And this is what the Lord prophesied. This is what the Lord has said was going to happen and it's happening. All right. Just looking at my scriptures, man. Oh, let me get this. <clears throat> this is second as 13 to 31. And one shall undertake to fight against another. All right, one city against another, one place against another. And my point of reading is it says one people against another, all right, and one realm against another. My point of reading is because it says one people against another. As we get further into this article, man, you're going to see that people are doing this, all right? You can see people looting and fighting to get food, man, all right? You can see, all right? Uh, while most families, yep, that's spoiled-ass Americans, okay? All right? Bloomberg further emphasizes the situation is only set to continue spiraling downward, possibly into political unrest. Okay. Hey, individuals not regarding their leadership, man. Okay. All right. Because their leadership ain't done nothing for them. They got ties with America, man. And America don't care. America is only concerned about Americans to a certain extent. Okay. To the fill up their pockets, to get the people to be swayed, to do the thing that they want them to do. All right. Booting has also been observed as part of the poor, observed as the poor get desperate. They find themselves in dan dangerous catch 22s on the one hand, on the one hand, risking arrest, getting, risking arrest for going outside in towns, and but on the other hand, risking their family starvation if they don't venture, venture far out for food and vital supplies. What does that mean? There's a famine, all right? <clears throat> There's a famine, man, okay? If you look at these pictures, man, these people in the store looting for food, all right? And the stuff that people do have is hoarded up by the individuals that can afford to get it, okay? All right? All right, let's go. Let's read this and I'm going to get some scriptures. The food and fuel crisis are directly intertwined, exact, ex, ex, extrabated by American sanctions, which seek, which especially seek to choke Venezuela oil exports, refining and refining and operations. You see that, man? America got its hands in it, man. Okay. You Edomites are fucking over the Israelites, man. In every country, okay, where there's an Israelite, okay. All right. Because you are the devil the Bible speaks of, man. All right. Simply put, vast stores of food are rotting as producers lack the means to get them to the market. All right. Hey, and that's what Esau Edom wants, man, because he wants you to get that chip, man. Okay. Let's get some scriptures. Because these things the Lord is bringing upon us for judgment, man. Okay. When I say us, I mean the whole world, man, okay? Uh, this is Psalms 105, verse 16. Moreover, he called for a famine upon the land. He break the whole bread. He break the whole staff of bread, okay? Let me, in my footnotes, in my Bible, I got some certain things written for this. 
Okay, so uh, he break, it means destroyed, okay? All right, there's my footnote, the whole staff of bread, okay? Provisions, okay? All right, the staff is the provisions, and the break is, is my footnotes is destroyed, man. So the famine, the Lord, he, how about Shema Shai brought this famine about, man? All right, to destroy the wicked of our people, man, okay? By the hands of Esau, eat them, all right? It was all. It was a crisis already in the making. Sent hurling over the edge by Caracas, stay uh, that that uh, I guess their governor or their president stay at home order. All right. Hey, America's on stay at home orders, and look what's happening here in Venezuela. Don't think it's not gonna happen here in America, man. Okay. All right. Don't think it's not gonna happen here in America because a. Hey, these food places that's producing this food, these factories, they, they shutting down, man, okay? And this is what your government wants, man, okay? But ultimately, this is what Yahweh Shema Shah wants, okay? All right, so he can kill those that are destined to die by famine, to die by famine, all right? Let me get uh, Ezekiel, then I'm going to close out, man, all right? But this is all, all you know, supposed to happen, so those individuals that's destined to be destroyed okay by the hands of the lord through the sword which is esau okay can go down all right <clears throat> all right this is ezekiel he was told by how about shimao shai to divide up his hair into certain certain portions all right and certain things are going to happen to certain individuals that fell off in this portion and right now you could look and see in this article man that these people are going through lack of food man lack of fuel all right and resorting to violence to get the things that they want. And again, this is going to come to America, all right? <sighs> this is Ezekiel chapter 5, verse uh, 11. Wherefore, as I live, save Yahweh by Shem al Shai, Yahweh power, okay? Surely, because thou hast defiled my sanctuary, okay? With all thy detestable things, all right? What's some detestable things that we devout, we have defiled? How about Shema Shai sanctuary with idolatry, okay? Adultery, eating abominable foods, homosexuality, transgenderism, transhumanism, okay? That's 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 constantly being pushed in the media, i.e., this RFID microchip, okay? And digital this and digital that, all right? But back in the day, all right, uh, we worshiped other gods, man. We we uh. We did things that was not lawful, man. We abandoned our power, man, okay? All right? And with all thine abominations, therefore I will diminish thee. Neither shall mine eyes spare, neither will I have any pity. The Lord is not having any pity, man, okay? Look at look at what his people is going through, okay? His people is going through this, but I but remember that uh, how about Shema Shai? He's, he's all about balance, right? So just imagine what you Edomite is going to go through, man, all right? Uh, verse 12, a, a third part of thee shall die with the pestilence, okay, and and with famine, okay. Look, here you go, famine, man. People are root, looting and rioting, man. People are getting killed off in this, man, okay, all right. People are getting killed off in this, all right. Don't think this ain't going to happen here in America, man, okay, all right. Uh... A third part shall fall by the sword round about thee, okay? Esau, Edom coming with his killing instruments, whatever it may be, okay? And I will scatter a third part into all the winds, and I will draw the sword after them, all right? Hey, look, the Lord is coming to kill, man. Then shall my anger be accomplished, and I will cause my fury to rest upon them, and I will be comforted. And they shall know that I, Yehobachim, I have spoken it in my zeal when I have accomplished my fury upon them. All right. We don't want the fury of you. How about Shai, man? All right. Because the Lord's coming to destroy me. He's coming to put people to death, man. Okay. All right, I'm going to keep reading. Moreover, I will make thee waste and reproach among the nations that are round about thee in the sight of all that pass by. And we look at this, man. We are approach among the nations, man. Okay. All right, they call us all these different names. They treat us lower than dust, man, lower than dirt, okay? All right? This is how you are approached uh, by the other nations, man, all right? 
And the Lord said it was going to happen, and it's happening, man. So the Lord is always an individual, all right, but keeps his word. So it shall be a reproach and a taunt and instruction and an, an, an astonishment unto the nations that are round about thee. When I shall mm -hmm. execute judgment in thee in anger and in fury and in fury and furious rebukes, I, Yahweh, by Shema, shall have spoken it. So, hey, look, the same things that happen to us is going to happen to these nations, okay? All right. The Lord is jacking us up, but wait until our, our punishment has uh, been uh, accomplished, okay? All right. When I shall send upon them evil arrows of famine, okay? Famine, man. All right. Evil means bad times. Okay. Bad. Okay. And this is bad times right here for our people, man. But don't think it's not going to come to America. All right. Because this is where the heart of the pollution of the world is here in America, man. Okay. Which shall be for their destruction. All right. Continuing on. And which I will send to destroy you. I will increase the famine upon you and I will break your staff of bread. Okay. Destroy, okay, all right, break is to destroy, and your staff of bread, all right, that staff goes back to your provisions, okay, all right, as I had read in my footnotes earlier, in Ezekiel 5 and 16, and uh, Salakia, in um, Psalms 105 and 16, all right, so verse 17, so I will send famine, I will send upon you famine and evil beasts, and they shall berate thee, and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee. I will bring the sword upon the eye how by Shema I have spoken it. So the Lord, man, he ain't playing. All this stuff that's happening here, again, is going to come to America, man. All right. Death, famine, destruction. Okay. Looting, rioting, killing. All right. Because people got to feed their families. All right. And they're going to be going up against um, the government and the police and all that just to do what they got to do to feed their families, man. So. With that, I want to say Barak be a by Shimmy Al Shah by Shim Hava Kaka Dash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule and teach well and shall I want Baba Kwan to the whole four let Kwame Asharala and the Bob Ball death to America.